All right, guys, I'm trying to hop back on the YouTube wagon, okay? We fell off a little bit because we had two kids and under two years, and it's too much. But here we are, and here's another sign that it's too much. This is their room. It's a lot of stuff. Right now, I'm gonna try to go through their drawers. So, as most of you know, if you're new here, my name's Allie. We live off grid. We've had two kids in 21 months, and it's been a whirlwind, okay? Now, my littlest is almost four months old, which I can't believe, but we're, we're, we're working our way out of that deep hole we were in, you know? It's getting better, it's getting easier, everything's getting put into place, okay? Their room, though, disaster. So, all winter, it's been freezing in here because we don't have our heat situation figured out yet. And it's just a construction zone still. We're adding on to our house. We lived in a one room cabin and we added on two bedrooms and we're working on a kitchen. So anyways, it looks good, but we have not been using it because it is freezing in here. Um, but now it's spring. As you can see, you can even see the other side. We had Christmas and then Roan's birthday is in February. And so people need to stop buying us stuff because we live in a tiny house. I don't know how many times I can say this to grandma and grandpa, but guess what? You gotta stop buying stuff because we got no place to put it, okay? We have to stop. I've been so lucky because all of their clothes, we've gotten hand-me-downs from cousins on both sides, which we're so grateful for. But also, you know, when you get hand-me-downs, it can be kind of hard because you want the seasons to line up correctly, which I thought was gonna work for Murphy, but um, it's not working out very well, unfortunately. So that kind of stinks. She is growing like a weed and she's super long. And so she's just growing out of everything so quickly. All I have for them is this one dresser for both kids. So far, I've just, you know, I'm, I definitely don't fold clothes. I just shove them in the drawer and I'm okay with that. I, I don't mind that system. I don't think it's worth it to fold baby clothes at all because no I'm not wasting my time doing that we do need a better system so the reason I'm doing all this is because we're going to see the Easter Bunny tomorrow and I want to find a cute outfit for Rome so here's what Murphy's gonna wear I was tempted to go to Marshall's and buy something new okay but I knew I didn't need to and so I didn't like a good girl and she's gonna wear this cute little <laughs> old 90s baby outfit. This is what my mom would put me in. My mom will be ecstatic to see this cute little dress on Murphy. And then I'm also gonna, it's actually gonna be cold tomorrow. It's only gonna be like 40 degrees when we're doing the Easter egg hunt. So I'm gonna pair it with this sweater, which I got from Marshalls, but I got it a long time ago from Marshalls. And it'll be so cute. So it'll be like that. And then I'll put little leggings on her and a little bow. And it'll be super cute. So a little bit of old, a little bit of new. But we didn't buy anything when we were at Marshall's. But I know Roan doesn't really have any like bright colored, like long sleeve things. So I'm trying to go through all his clothes. And I'm just taking this opportunity to go through all the clothes, put away clothes that are too small because she no longer fits in almost any, she fits in nothing zero to three months and most of three to six months she doesn't fit in. So I'm just doing my first round of putting clothes away, which is so sad. And I also have all of Roan's clothes from summer last year and I just love them so much, so much, so cute. I buy all of their clothes anytime I need to buy clothes. I go to Once Upon a Child because you cannot beat Once Upon a Child. It is the best thing ever. If you've never been to a Once Upon a Child and you have a kid, sponsor me Once Upon a Child. There's so many reasons that it's the most amazing thing ever. One, everything is so organized that it is so fun to shop. I'm all for like thrifting baby clothes, but usually baby clothes are just in a pile at our thrift store and I can't stand that. I don't wanna do that. Once upon a child, everything is organized by shorts, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts. Every size is organized. It is immaculate organization and I love it. 
and then you can also take back your used clothes and get credit for the store or I think you can even get cash which is just amazing so that's what I do if I need clothes and I absolutely can't rave about it enough so these are all Roan's uh, t-shirts Roan was such a chunky baby that I started putting him in 2T clothing when he was like I'm not kidding six months old six months old I was buying 2T pajamas because nothing would get over his fat little arms he was so fat it was the cutest thing ever I'm obsessed with him as a baby this is where we're at so far I've cleared out all of Murphy's clothes that are too small and I have these Ikea bags these are awesome let me show you I think we might only brought one these are $1.25, okay? Let me show you. Okay, if you can get these from Ikea, they're amazing. They just zip around the top in a square like this. They're this thick, you know? They're perfect for shoving under the bed. You can stack them on top of each other. They're this like thick plastic, kind of like the blue Ikea bags. And they zip up and they're perfect for storing clothes. So I found those last time I was at Ikea and I bought so many of them because I love them. I love that they zip up because we have mice. We have a mouse problem and not to say a mouse couldn't get into that but so far so good. So what I'm going to do is just I'm trying to just organize all the clothes and then I'll put on like a piece of masking tape and label it for what size it is and everything like that but already put away all her zero to three month clothes literally cleaned out her whole drawer and I got the next round of hand-me-downs that we have already organized but also in here I have socks I have bibs I have bottle parts I have like everything shoved into this one dresser so like I need to just completely overhaul it I have all of like the sleep sacks I don't really use sleep sacks um we have so many like hand-me-down ones but I co-sleep and we just don't use sleep sacks at all. I've never used them with Roan and I just don't use them. All right, I went through everything in their drawers. Most of their clothes are actually in our room because they just got cleaned and haven't been put away yet. But this top drawer is not cool. All right, this is the top drawer and it is a wreck. It is tights and bows and underwear and socks and shoes and bows and sunscreen it's just a lot so I'm gonna take it all out and put it all back <laughs> so this is the hard part with hand-me-downs is that you also get all of the things that people were gifted that like you would never really want like you know like these just if the mom wants this they'll buy it or they'll tell you you know is it cute I have become a very minimal mom like I do not use very many things with babies like mittens don't use I'm almost only exclusively have them in sleepers unless we're going somewhere like special and like I feel like most moms can agree you're just not changing your baby into cute outfits very often because it's too much work you don't want to Babies don't like being changed that much. So, like, all these baby shoes and mittens and hats and bows. Like, give me, like, two good bows, a winter hat, and all the same socks. But I barely ever use socks. But I am grateful to have some socks because you need them sometimes. But, like, you know, then they never match. But I'm going to use them because I don't have to buy them, obviously. <laughs> it's just a lot of stuff. You want to simplify as much as possible. Get all the same socks for everyone. All the time. All the same socks. 
currently have a sock problem with Roan because this is what our sock pile looks like. It's just not one ever single matching sock. But I'm trying to just ignore it for the remainder of the season because spring is here and then socks are socks are gone. And then next year I'm just gonna buy all the same socks. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd show you guys this. This is a cute idea. So my sister-in-law got all of the nieces and nephews towels for Christmas. And I thought that was such a good idea with their names on them. So this is Murphy's and then Roan has an orange one. And I just thought that was such a cute, a thoughtful gift uh, that they can use for literally years and years and years. And so, if you need a gift idea, that's a cute gift. Alright, we're calling it quits for tonight. You can kind of see the floor. Made a lot of good progress here. We've got our trash pile. We've got to put away for next winter. Donate. And then I put away Murphy's clothes. She has some spring clothes to get out. And all of this is organized, although it may not look like it. Hats and bows, socks, Roan's underwear, Roan socks, bibs, this pajama drawer, all of Roan's clothes, all of Murphy's clothes, and then overalls and coats. Here's our outfits for tomorrow, and we're good to go. All right, it's the next morning. We just went on an Easter egg hunt. It was so fun. Um, I'm looking great. I just wanted to finish out this video and show you, well, it's kind of a mess in here, but I was gonna show you some of the upcoming things that I still need to get done in here. So I have this awesome shelf that my parents made, and I just don't know where to put it yet. So, I'm not sure. I was gonna put it like, I don't know where. I don't know what to do with this bed situation because we need two twin beds for when people come to visit, but it's too big in this room. There's not enough space. Everything is basically just shoved in here. Everything is currently shoved in here, but all of the stuff will not remain in here. So like the table and chairs will be out in the living room once the living room is only a living room. Same with like the pickler triangle. These, you know, and then there's a bunch of stuff like that we need to donate diapers that are too small for everyone. But I also need to get like the toy storage situation under wraps because we have too many toys that I just need to like go put them up in the loft. Like we have places to put them now, but you know, it's just not done. It's not done and I am worried because I think I need to like rearrange the bed situation. Even though I hung all these pictures, I kind of feel like I should just get I don't know. The mattress, the problem is, is that these mattresses are like 12 inch, super thick, comfortable mattresses. And those don't work with like children beds because when they move in here, we'll probably do like a little bunk bed or something small. And so I just don't know. I don't know. I'd love to put a day bed in the loft so that it could be like a pull out trundle bed type deal when people come to visit. I don't know yet. All I know is two mattresses on the floor is too many because you can't even play in here. Okay, that's all for this video. I asked you guys what you wanted to see from me and you said you want clean with me, day in the life, things that I'm doing. So to me, this may seem very boring, but this is what y'all asked for. So I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Let me know if it's too boring. Let me know if you want to see other things. My goal is to get out at least one YouTube video a week. But I'm going to try to work my way up. I've got a nice list of things that I am going to make YouTube videos about. But if you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments. Your girl is going to start grinding and recording. Okay? Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye.